from the world of the weird, the unusual, and the sometimes off beats. Oh, my goodness. How much would you spend to beat a speeding ticket? Well, this guy in England, he shelled out literally tens of thousands of dollars to fight his ticket. 71-year-old Richard Keedwell was clocked doing 35 in a 30-mile-an-hour zone, but the retired engineer claims he wasn't speeding, hiring a video and electronics expert to challenge the speed camera that recorded him speeding. He lost in court but appealed and lost again. The three-year-long ordeal paying experts, lawyers, and travel costs set him back $37,000, money that was supposed to be his son's inheritance all to fight a $123 ticket. Gary Baumgarten, Fox News. Yeah, all of his inheritance, man. Sorry, son. <laughs> Sorry about that. I gotta fight this ticket, man. It's the principle of the thing. Check this out also from the world of the weird, the unusual, and the offbeats. Emails uh, stored on a private server are now being read publicly by a former presidential candidate. Everyone thought it was a look-alike at first, but the former 2016 Democratic nominee was part of an art show in Italy. Hillary Clinton spent an hour reading from the 60,000 pages of her infamous emails. The former Secretary of State, who came up short against Donald Trump in 2016, was sitting in a mock Oval Office behind a prop table designed to look like the Resolute Desk, which is used by the real president. The artist says the exhibition in Venice allows anyone to read the emails. There you go. Kevin Battle, Fox News. There you go. How about that? Uh, now, also, that's comedy. From the world of the weird, the unusual, and the offbeats, a court rules a man's death during sex is a workplace accident. Yeah, you know, the death of a man during sex while on a business trip was a workplace accident, according hey. to a French court. Exactly. The man identified as M. Xavier in court papers had been uh, visiting uh, France on behalf of uh, TSO, the railway construction company. Uh -huh. He was on business. Uh -huh. Business. There he met a complete stranger. All right. According to court documents. A hookup. When, when he went back to her hotel, they began, you know. Bumping uglies. As it were. Apparently, it was uh, too much for his heart, which uh, gave out before they finished. TSO uh, has maintained since that the sex was not part of his assigned duties, and since he died in someone else's hotel room, the company was not responsible for his death. Okay. However, the court has ruled that sexual activity is a matter of everyday life, like taking a shower or eating a meal. <laughs> Meaning Xavier did on his trip was just part of business. Are you kidding me? Do you agree with the courts? No. No, no, I I, I, I do not. I really do not. That, well, that's, uh, that's absurd. I mean, that's a normal function, right? Well, it's a normal function. What, but, if he slipped, but, what if he slipped and hit his head in the shower? He, that might have been another thing. Because, you just don't like it because he was having sex. Well, it's, well no, I don't. I don't it's, it's, it's just that is something that is not necessary to... To, says you. Uh, say, say, well, you know. Says well, you. Well, might 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 feel that way to some people, but uh, it, you know, I I would say that what would be more important is the, the taking of the shower. And yeah, if it was a falling in the shower, that that would make more sense because uh, it's not good to be out there doing business and stinking. But no. you can do business without having uh, bumped uglies with a stranger the night before. Right. You can't. You it's can. not easy. You can. You might be in a bad mood. You can. It's you, possible. You, you can. You can. I've done it. There's a lot of men waking up today going to work. Right. And they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. A lot of married men go to work every single day. A lot of married women go to work every single that's day. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Without, hey, hey, that's a hey, that's a two-way road, Don. All I, yeah, I'm not going to get too personal here, but you know, let's just say there's been the occasional day where I've done this show and you know, I got gotcha. you. Right. I understand. Haven't really I got gotcha. you.